Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video and today I'm here to participate in the extreme horror tag created by Rick from Us Only. Great idea for a tag. Um, extreme horror is a genre that I do enjoy and I don't think it's really talked about enough or really much at all within the horror community so yeah I definitely wanted to upload this video, um, show some of my favourite extreme horror movies that I have within my collection and just mention two in particular that really stand out to me so yeah um, this is not your stock standard everyday horror um, we're talking about some of the more extreme horror themed movies and um, yeah I definitely enjoy that side of horror so let's get into it so here is a few from my collection um, that I consider to be some of the more extreme movies that I own. So I'll just quickly go through them and then I'll pull a couple aside that um, yeah, I want to sort of focus a little bit on. So we're just going to go through these quickly. I'm sure a few of you have, or probably quite a lot of you have probably already seen most of these or at least know of them. Um, we have Salo or The 100 Days of Sodom. Very interesting film. I've only seen this one once and I don't really intend to ever watch it again. Um, but it was certainly an interesting experience. Um, yeah, very, very extreme and pretty messed up. Uh, next up we have Dream Home, which is a more extreme slasher film very very bloody gory and splattery and very very brutal and violent and the kills are extremely realistic so yeah if you're wanting a more extreme slasher dream home is awesome um everyone knows about the human centipede films i don't really need to talk too much about them um, probably a good starting point if you're wanting to get into something a little bit more on the extreme side, I guess. Um, the original movie is definitely my favourite out of the three. Um, then I wanted to mention a couple of Australian films. Now, when it comes to Aussie horror, we're not really known for extreme cinema. But these two, I think, are definitely pretty extreme. Both films, uh, Hounds of Love and Snowtown, are actually both based on real-life serial killer cases. Hounds of Love isn't gory, but psychologically it is very, very extreme, and it's a pretty hard watch. Snowtown, on the other hand, is just extreme all round. Um, yeah, very, very hard watch, Snowtown. So... That's those two. Um, the Seasoning House, which is uh, a very, very hard watch as well. Um, Switchblade Romance is part of the French Fab Four Extreme Films. It's also known as High Tension, Fantastic Slasher, uh, Martyrs, which I will talk a little bit more about soon because that is one of the ones that I wanted to pull aside. Um, the Girl Next Door. Um, this movie is a very very hard watch. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say on that. Gutter Balls, very very extreme slasher. Um, the dialogue's extreme, the kills are extreme. This one is very gory and splattery. Uh, Frontiers is another absolutely phenomenal film, as is Inside, and these two are both part of the French Fab Four Extreme Films. Um, both of these are amazing. And then we have Tater City, which Rick, I'm sure you've seen, but if not, I definitely think that this would be right up your alley. So, the two that I'm going to sort of pull out and talk about is a couple of my favorites is Tater City and Martyrs. So Tater City is very very gory. It's pretty extreme. It's very violent, very brutal and the splatter is definitely on point. Um, yeah, 
the movie is batshit crazy. So I absolutely love that one. Martyrs, very different film to Tata City, and I've actually only ever watched Martyrs once. I've still yet to bring myself to re-watch this one. It's a good movie, um, but yeah, it took a lot out of me. This was a massive, massive punch in the gut for me. There was one scene in particular that scared the absolute shit out of me, and that is the scene towards the end of the film where she ends up going into the house and there's the woman there with the metal headpiece on who thinks she has bugs under her skin. She absolutely scared the shit out of me. So Martyrs, very, very well-known film. Very, very extreme and brutal in my opinion. Um, and I definitely need to man up and re-watch this one again at some point. Um, but yeah, um, that is my response for Rick over at Us Only, talking about some extreme horror from my collection. So yeah, if there's any films that you see here, Rick, that you have not checked out yet, I definitely recommend all the films that I've shown within this video. And to anyone else, um, I also recommend them too. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. And Guys, if you're not already subscribed to Rick's channel, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. I'm going to leave this tag open because I know that Extreme Horror isn't everyone's cup of tea, but if you feel like uploading a response to this, that would be pretty cool. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.